Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and we have been asked to find the element Z which is shown in the given circuit. So here, this Vt is the applied voltage and based on this voltage, the sinusoidal steady state current IT is flowing through this circuit. And here, we have been also shown this current graphically. So based on this, we have been asked to find this element Z. So if you closely observe this graph, then here the current is varying between 1 by root 2 ampere to minus 1 by root 2 ampere. Moreover, we have been also given the time at this point. So as you can see, at the origin, this time t is equal to pi by 4. So basically, it shows the phase shift between the voltage and current. Because if you see this voltage V of t, then its initial phase is equal to 0. So if you see this sine wave, then it will look like this. That means at the origin of the sine wave, this phase shift is equal to 0. On the other end, if you see this current waveform, then the initial phase shift is equal to pi by 4. That means whenever this voltage signal reaches somewhere around here, then this current signal is starting. So we can say that in this case, this voltage leads the current by pi by 4. Or in other words, this current signal is lagging the voltage signal by pi by 4. And that's why this element has to be inductor. So now we know that this element Z is some inductor. But now let us find the value of this inductor. So for that, let us apply the KVL in this loop. So after applying the KVL, we can write this voltage V of T is equal to I of T times 1 ohm plus I of T times Z. That means V of T divided by this current IT is equal to 1 ohm plus Z. And now, since we know that this given element is the inductor, so we can further write it as this 1 ohm plus j omega l. And in this case, this omega is equal to 1 radian per second. Because here, if you see the expression of the voltage signal, then that is equal to sin t. So if we compare it with this vm sin omega t, then here, this omega is equal to 1 radian per second and the amplitude of the voltage signal is equal to 1 volt. That means in this expression, this omega is equal to 1. So further we can write it as 1 plus JL. That means V of T divided by I of T is equal to 1 plus JL. So in the phasor form, let's say this voltage is equal to V. So it will be written as this amplitude followed by the phase. Likewise, let's say the current in the circuit is equal to I. So it will be written with the amplitude and phase. And this 1 plus JL is the impedance of the given circuit. Now typically, the impedance is represented with the symbol Z. But here, since the Z is already used for this element, so here I am representing this impedance with the another symbol. So let's say that is equal to A. So this impedance can also be written with its amplitude and the phase. So in this case, we know that the amplitude of the voltage signal is equal to 1 and its phase is also equal to 0. Likewise, if you see the waveform of the current, then its amplitude is varying between the plus minus 1 by root 2. That means its amplitude is equal to 1 by root 2 ampere. And as you can see, its phase is equal to minus pi by 4 because the current is lagging the voltage by pi by 4 and that should be equal to the impedance of the given circuit. So if we further simplify it, then we can write it as this A phi is equal to root 2 times pi by 4. That means the amplitude of this impedance is equal to root 2 while its phase is equal to pi by 4. So just by comparing either amplitude or the phase, we can find the value of the L. So if we just compare the phase, then this phase phi is equal to the phase of this 1 plus JL and that is equal to the 10 inverse this L divided by 1. So here this phase shift is equal to pi by 4 and to get this value, the value of L has to be 1. 
because this 10 inverse 1 is equal to pi by 4. So from this we can say that the value of the inductance should be equal to 1 Henry. Now we can also get the same result just by comparing the amplitude. So in this case, this amplitude is equal to square root of 1 plus L square. That is the magnitude of this term. And here that is equal to root 2. That means the root 2 is equal to the square root of 1 plus L square. So if we take the square on both sides, then we can write it as 2 is equal to 1 plus L square. Or in other words, this L is equal to 1 Henry. So in this way, just by comparing either phase or the amplitude, we can get the value of the L. And in this case, the value of L is equal to 1 Henry. So from this we can say that for the given circuit, the circuit element Z is equal to inductor and its value is equal to 1 Henry. And therefore, for the given question, this B is the correct answer.